This video talks about the oxidative versus non-oxidative synthesis of ribulose 5-phosphate. Typically, the synthesis of ribulose 5-phosphate happens through HMP shunt, right? What happens is glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate. Glucose 6-phosphate is 6-phosphogluconate using the enzyme G6PD. And 6-phosphogluconate is later on converted to ribulose 5-phosphate. 5-phosphate. And this goes and makes nucleotides. This is used to make nucleotides. Now this is the oxidative process. Now this oxidative process is also irreversible. Okay, and this generates two molecules of NADPH. Okay, this irreversible oxidative process um, sometimes in some cells in our body, we cannot use this process to make ribulose 5-phosphate. Not all cells can go through HMP shunt to make ribulose 5-phosphate. So how do we make ribulose 5-phosphate in cells where we cannot make it through the HMP shunt? The answer is through a non-oxidative process. What happens is let's say you have glycolysis and from glycolysis you get fructose 6-phosphate. Fructose 6-phosphate can be converted to glycerol dehydrate 3-phosphate and some other product. I'm not going to talk about the other product. There is no real significance to learn those products. I'm just going to show you what really forms what just so that you know what that's the minimum you really have to know about these things. So anyway, so fructose 6-phosphate is converted to glycerol dehydrate 3-phosphate using the enzyme transaldolase. Glycerol dehydrate 3-phosphate is then converted to ribulose 5-phosphate using the enzyme transketolase. This process is also reversible. Okay. Now, another important thing about this is um, as they're you know, converting fructose 6-phosphate to glycerol dehydrate 3-phosphate, glycerol dehydrate 3-phosphate to ribulose 5-phosphate, 5-phosphate, they're transferring two carbons, right? So these are transferring two carbons at a time. These are carbon transfer molecules. So transketolase and transaldolase really transfers two carbon at a time. Now this transketolase also uses a cofactor, and the cofactor is thymine. Now there's three enzymes where thymine is used as, uh, as a cofactor. The first one is pyruvate dehydrogenase, A for alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, and T for transketolase. Okay, these are the three enzymes where we use thymine. So we use thymine while making ribulose 5-phosphate from glycerol dehyde 3-phosphate using transketolase.